the problem statement that we have today is a simple one. It's something like how many unique visitors did a website get in a day or how many unique connections do we currently have on a website? Well, you would say that the problem is simple to solve. Let's have a huge hash map and use some kind of a key like the IP or the username, something like that and uh, keep a count of how many users are coming. Well, not a bad idea at first glance and one might argue that this is the best way to get an accurate answer to the problem. However, like most things in computer science, problems comes with scale. And when there is simply a lot of unique entries, a lot of unique users uh, visiting the website, it would be really hard and expensive to store such a big hash map. Thus, it doesn't seem like a super good solution for our case. So what should we do? We can start by asking ourselves the question, do we even need a fully accurate count? When the count is large enough, it does not really matter if we have a small inaccuracy for most use cases like analytics and so. So with this idea in mind, we can actually try to approximate the number using some probabilistic methods to make our algorithm more efficient. So let's see how to do that. So what we can do is we can take the unique key for each user and convert it to its binary form. And let's take a look at the number of zeros at the end of each binary number. We see from the set that the maximum zeros at the end of any binary number is two. Now, why is this important? When we have a set of binary numbers like this and it has maximum n zeros at the end, how many binary numbers do we need to go over to get this maximum? The answer is 2 to the power n numbers. And let's see why. Uh, ask yourself this question. What is the probability that any binary number ends with 1 or 0? Um, if you have taken a probability class, you will know it will be more like half. As there are only two possible values, 0 and 1. For two zeros at the end, the probability is 1 by 4. Because there are four possible values. So for n zeros, the probability is 1 by 2 to the power n as there are 2 to the power n possible values. So we can say with some confidence that we might have gone through 2 to the power n binary numbers or in our case 2 to the power n usernames to get n zeros at the end. So we can kind of approximate our answer to 2 to the power maximum zeros at the end. The answer wouldn't be fully accurate but it will be like a ballpark estimation and Kind of a good guess. Okay, let's take this scenario. Let's say we have five unique four bit numbers and they are like this. Um, now we are very unlucky and we see the maximum number of zeros at the end is four. So we take the number of unique values as 16 instead of five. Now that's a big difference. The problem is the power of two increases so rapidly, like exponentially, so it's very easy to miss that answer. So we need to have that exponent more accurately than we have currently. So let's try to improve our accuracy a bit more. So what do we do now is first take m buckets, let's say 4 in our case, and then we take the first few bits, let's say 2 in our case, and convert them to decimal, and consider them as a bucket index and then send the remaining bits to the specified buckets. Now we get the max number of trailing zeros of each bucket and take the mean of all of them. What we get is a new formula, which is two to the power, the average, not the maximum number, but the average of all the buckets. So we are actually hedging our bets um, across all the buckets to get a more accurate um, estimate. And the paper also multiplied this number with the number of buckets at a constant. With experimentation, they found the value of the constant to be around 0.79 for best results. I, I really don't know what experiments they did. I'm not really very aware of that. And now our estimate is much better than what we previously had. Well, although it's not 100% uh, accurate, obviously. And this algorithm is called the log log algorithm. Because if we take the log of log of total number of unique entries, we approximately get the number of bits required to store the maximum number of zeros at the end. Right? So we see that already this makes 
this algorithm a very space efficient one um it's almost o of 1 um and it is not requiring that large hash map even though the time complexity uh, is as good as the previous one okay um next to improve the accuracy even further came another algorithm called super log log but let's skip it today and just get directly to hyper log log so the problem with the log log algorithm is the outliers let's say one bucket has a large value compared to the others may increase or decrease the average by a lot so in hyper log log we change the way we take the average instead of arithmetic mean of the values in the buckets we take the harmonic mean which is got by using this formula now after plugging in the harmonic mean our final formula would look something like this and let's plug plug in our values that we have and we see our estimate inching even closer to our accurate answer so this formula guys what we have on the screen right now is the hyper log log formula to calculate the number of unique entries in a given set using a uh, using approximation method to make it very very efficient and this algorithm is used in like query engines like presto and databases like redis to give approximate unique counts so if you're using it you are in pretty good company right okay so that's it for this video go over the links in the description to read more about it uh, in detail uh, you will gain gain more understanding in depth and also subscribe to the channel leave a like and uh, the usual stuff see you in the next one